Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today's project is a baby sleep gown. So this has an envelope neckline at the top so that you can get this over baby's head, and it has elastic casing at the bottom to help squinch it in to keep their feet inside, but also so that it's easy to pull up for diaper changes. So I have a free pattern that we're going to be using to make this and all the details on how to get that are in the post linked below. And after you have this cut out, you're actually going to follow my baby t-shirt tutorial to sew up everything except the bottom casing because it is the exact same process. So that video is linked over here and Check that out if you need the step-by-step. -step. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of show you a sped up version of me sewing this. And then I will pause the camera and slow it down so that I can show you the casing. So once you have the gown all sewn up to this point and you've just followed the t-shirt tutorial if you need step-by-step -step instructions, then what you need is a 14 inch piece of elastic and then you need either a bodkin, which that's what this is and I've got this linked below, or a safety pin to pull the elastic through the casing that we're about to make. At the bottom, where you would normally hem the t-shirt, I want to press up the casing just like I would for a hem. And the only difference is going to be that I'm going to leave a gap as I stitch this around. I am using a stretch stitch here. And I've made sure that my bobbin thread matches my fabric. Once you have sewn that casing all the way around, then we're going to insert the elastic. So I'm using my bodkin for this, clamping it closed, and then I'm going to pull the elastic through. Once you have the elastic pulled through, check and make sure that you didn't twist it anywhere, and then pin those ends of the elastic together. Then we're going to take this to the sewing machine. So I'm putting the elastic under the presser foot and then I'm going to be zigzag stitching these ends together. And then I will switch back to my stretch stitch and I am pulling the elastic into the casing and making sure that it's not where I'm going to stitch and I'm stitching my gap closed. And then we just need to trim off those threads from stitching and pull at the bottom casing to redistribute the fullness around that elastic. And then you can see here is the bottom of the gown and here is the top. And now we have a pull on baby gown that will go beyond their feet, but then you can easily pull it up to their waist for diaper changes. And check out this playlist for more videos for sewing for baby.